Major Chi reads music can play Beethoven's Sonatina in F major and has won a spot to perform at Carnegie Hall. She is four years old. Bridget's feet dangle above the ground when the petite girl sits on the piano bench, her hands moving gracefully across the keyboard. With long brown hair in a ponytail and bow, she casts her dark eyes shyly downward when her mother, Nicholson, asks if she likes piano. Do you like piano? Yeah. On a breezy Saturday afternoon in downtown Stamford, Connecticut, a group of children from 4 to 12 years old in fancy dresses and suits held an outdoor piano recital outside of a steak house while cars zoomed by. Twelve-year-old Kerry Wang's hands flew across the piano as he poured emotion He said he's been playing since he was five years old and Bridget's and his first piano teacher Felisa Feng Zhang taught him how to express himself through the music. She wants me to get like what I'm feeling through this piece, what this piece reminds me of. And for example, that piece that I just did, Revolutionary Age, it's basically, I looked at the analysis, it's sort of like the revolution, it's a war between Poland and Russia. So I need to interpret the sound of the war into the piece. And that's basically what she's been teaching me a lot. And then I can interpret that into the details. I really love piano because it's able to give me a lot of focus and I really love the imagination that I'm using with piano. I'm able to create like my own world playing piano and it's really helped me with my intellectual uh, capability and focus, especially like in school and in the real world. Kerry has played at Carnegie Hall six times and is currently enrolled in Manhattan School of Music's pre-conservatory training program. I started playing when I was five years old and I'm 12 now. Earlier in Greenwich, Bridget practiced the sonatina reading notes at Zhang's home. Bridget uh, came to me and uh, when she was uh, just two months after three years old and I from the, the lessons I observed she has a curious mind and she she has uh, she loved to learn so that's we we call the passion maybe as a young age is a more curious mind and uh, so during the lesson, see her big eyes really, really watch me, and then how I how I demonstrate. And uh, I think for the degree of her learning, she really focus level is really high, and uh, and also improve more. You know, uh, she also follows the instruction very well. When that pandemic at the time, so our uh, piano village offered the online class through the Zoom, and their parents signed up, uh, signed her up. So we first started through the Zoom, Zoom teaching with other kids all together, and then after close to two months, and then she came to my studio and started the private lessons.
piano, I consider is, is one of the best education tool for the preschooler. And the reason is piano teach a lot of uh, the, I said, the focus and follow the exact more precisely. You need to follow the fingering, follow the notation, follow the beat. And uh, so that is a comprehensive training. I call the whole person of training. From the, from the five cores is mind, eyes, ears, fingers, and the feeling, how to express yourself. Uh, so I really uh, suggest more this young age can really benefit from the piano education more. Bridget's father signed her up for piano lessons on Zoom about a year ago to give her something to do during COVID-19 lockdown. At the beginning, I never expected she's going to be a prodigy or anything. I just try to find something for her to do during the COVID. Yeah, but yeah, it turned interest. out it's, it's amazing. Bridget was the youngest winner of the prestigious Elite International Music Competition, which earned her a spot at Carnegie Hall. Bridget's mother gives credit to Zhang. I think this is one of the things she re enjoyed doing. Um, maybe she has a little bit more talent and interest in music, but I guess the most important is we, we find Felicia Chan. <laughs> yeah, that, we are really lucky to meet her and have her as Bridget's first piano teacher. She was supposed to play at Carnegie Hall as part of American International Music Talent Competition in November 2020. They got postponed to this November and might be postponed to November 2022 due to COVID-19. 